The impact of substance use theme is a vital component of NTDC's comprehensive content. This is a one and a half hour theme that explores information that often goes unaddressed or is misunderstood. We know that parental substance use is a huge influence on why children enter care. And prospective caregivers wanna know what the effects of substance exposure will have on the children that they will be caring for. This theme will provide caregivers with an overview of the impact of substance use, most specifically alcohol, on the developing brain, and will encourage caregivers to consider using new techniques and opportunities to adjust their parenting style when they're caring for children who've been exposed to substances prenatally. Now let's get into the nuts and bolts of this theme. The theme is broken into four sections. In the introduction, you'll be drawing attention to the need for caregivers to be flexible, adaptable, committed, resilient, and patient when caring for children who have been prenatally exposed to substances. These characteristics are truly the keys to success. Experience shows that successful caregivers are able to adjust their expectations and stay committed to the long-term needs of children who've been prenatally exposed to substances. They're open to learning different types of parenting skills and strategies that will meet the unique needs of these children. And they find joy in becoming part of a support network that will provide children with ongoing encouragement and care. In section two, we're building a foundation of knowledge around the impact of substance use. As a facilitator, you'll be guiding participants through information that's available in a handout called Understanding Complicated Children, written by Dr. Julia Bledsoe. This article contains a wealth of information. It addresses the impact of substance use in pregnancy. This includes legal substances like nicotine and alcohol, as well as illegal substances such as cocaine, methamphetamines, and opiates. It also touches on the general impacts of substance use and addiction. This article will be an invaluable resource for you and your participants. After reviewing some of the broad effects of substance use, you will spend the remainder of the theme focused on fetal alcohol spectrum disorders or FASD. The reason for this is because research tells us that prenatal exposure to alcohol has been found to have the most serious long-term implications and can cause permanent brain injury. You will be describing to participants some of the effects of FASD at different ages, including how FASD can affect an individual's emotional responses, their social skills, and their cognitive functioning. In section three, you'll provide more details about the impact of FASD on the brain, and you'll guide participants through a brief simulation of what it may feel like to be a child with an FASD who's struggling to comprehend information. In the final section of the theme, you're focusing on reframing challenging behaviors. Because of the way alcohol affects the brain, children with FASD often do not respond well to traditional parenting strategies. You'll guide participants through a case scenario based on a child who's struggling with stealing, and you'll invite participants to consider how to respond creatively to some other types of challenging behaviors. As you facilitate these conversations, you'll be reinforcing how characteristics of adaptability, flexibility, and patience will be the keys to success. By the end of this theme, we want participants to recognize that while we cannot erase the brain damage from prenatal substance exposure, we can reframe challenging behaviors, support children at their developmental and cognitive level, parent with patience, commitment, and flexibility so that we are successfully meeting the needs of these children. A few tips for you as a facilitator. As a facilitator, this may be a topic that's less familiar to you than some of the other content in the curriculum. Don't let that deter you from incorporating this content into your sessions. We all have different ways of developing comfort with new materials. 
If you're someone who likes to dig into research and educational materials, we recommend taking advantage of NTDC's resource materials that are available on the NTDC or CapLearn websites. To learn through storytelling and relationships, reach out to organizations such as NACAC or FASD United, which can help you connect with local or online groups of parents and community organizations that are knowledgeable about FASD. This theme will come to life through personal stories. If you or your co-facilitator don't have personal connections to individuals who are impacted by FASD, this might be a theme where you want to have a guest speaker with lived experience come in to join you. Hearing about the personal experiences will help your participants move beyond labels and stereotypes and instead will allow them to make connections with parents and children who embody characteristics of commitment and resilience. Children that have been impacted by prenatal substance use need safe, predictable, nurturing home environments with parents who are committed to meeting their needs. In order to meet the needs that children have, prospective caregivers need to understand that there are different ways substance exposure can affect a child's social skills, their cognitive development, and their behavior. Caregivers need to have access to information about parenting strategies they could use when caring for these children. Do not take for granted the power that proper training and support can have in bridging the gap between children who need families and having families who are ready to care well for these children. By facilitating this theme, you will be helping empower caregivers to meet the needs of some of our most vulnerable children. Mm -hmm.